Morning everybody, Jeff Cedar Acres Homestead. Getting a late start this morning for me. Uh, Mallory had to work this morning. So she had gotten up and milked the goats, but uh, everybody else, oh, she did tell me the pot bellies had, had she give them the milk this morning. So I don't have to give them as much feed. The chickens she let out, but of course they're all standing around making noise. They want a little scratch, so I'll give them some scratch. But yeah, I just uh, figured we'd run through chores real quick and trying to put together a beehive box because uh, today is Friday, but uh, next week, 24th of May, I gotta go get my nut for the bees. So that's gonna be something new and exciting here too. So. But anyhow, I'm going to get some food out to these guys and we'll go from there. Because they're waiting. Yeah. I know I'm late. Tell everybody you're late. But you know how many bugs and that are out there? I just had to run up to the front field where the camper's at. We're, we're going to get the second garden put in here shortly. Um, well, actually, we got to still plant that. Everything's growing in the greenhouse. She's got a... She's got a ton of stuff growing in the greenhouse, so... But, yeah. I'm going to plant a lot of pumpkins in that up front. Yeah, we got enough bugs out here. You shouldn't need this. But everybody's waiting. Everybody's waiting. Extension cord running to that kind of eyesore, but that is where I got the ducks. That's why the geese are hanging out over there. Um, eyesore being the tarp and that, but I cover that up good at night. And does still have a heat lamp going to it. Unplug. Or no, I do need to unplug it. Unplug that right now. Yeah, just definitely try to keep them, try to keep the baby ducks safe at night. And they're, I, anyhow, short video up yesterday. I did have six more baby ducks hatch in the incubator inside. They are now out in the barn out there. They're all situated. Um, got a lot going on in the house. I mean, I did have a whole bunch of barnyard mix again. Hatch. Good morning, geese. A whole bunch of barnyard mix. And our eggs we ordered from Shady Grove Farm in West Virginia. Three of the long crowers have hatched out now. So that's cool. Um, goose eggs are still good, doing good. I still have silky eggs. It looks like I have had one silky, one silky egg. Good morning, Marcher. Good morning. One silky eggs hatched so far. And I just had another duck hatch out, so. All kinds of stuff going. And the big thing, that young lady right there, I didn't film it the other day. I couldn't find her. Betty, the peacock there, the white one. Couldn't find her, didn't turn the phone on, so I kind of figured, you know, I, I'd seen Benny uh, get on top of her a couple times. I don't know if Blue has yet or not. Benny over there looking beautiful. But anyhow, couldn't find her. And she was just on the edge of the woods line over there, not really in no cover at all, but uh, she was sitting on four eggs, so I snatched them from her. And I, uh, I'm going to put those in the incubator today. But yeah, we do have four peacock eggs that we're going to put in the incubator. <laughs> Isn't that right, Batty? Yeah, big meanie, you took my eggs. Well, if I wouldn't have took your eggs, you would have been a snack for something. Gray, what do you want? Gray always gets a little bit down there on the ground. He's the one that's blind in one eye. Lavender. Rooster. Come on, ladies. Good morning, Dalton. Good morning, Dalton. 
Come on. Yes, everybody gets a little every, all over the place. Everybody's got a little feeding station. Like I said, not putting quite as much out now. Go catch some bugs. Oh, now we got a convention going on in here. Johnny Longpants, you need to go out the door and go get some food. Strawberries are growing, got lots of flowers on them. They have spread. She put a board across there. And she got her potatoes planted. The emus. Ah, mew mews. Ah, mew mews. She ever let you eat, Negan? Yes, she does. Num 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 chewy chewy num num chewy chewy num num, right? Good morning, Angel. Daddy's gonna come with your food. Have a rough night last night. Did you see anything exciting out there? Not last night, but the night before she was carrying on. I come out here. I didn't see nothing, but you were carrying on. Like I said in the past, those, those deer will walk back there through the woods there, out of that back swamp way back there. And she, she sees them. But she don't normally bark at the deer. I mean... But there could have been a raccoon. There could have been something wandering up through here. And she was, she was letting it know she was out here. It's nice to see it's getting green over there, though. Dakota's out there getting him a snack. Me, me, muse. I got to go do some more. Arnold, like I said, I've been out here. I don't really figure you guys want to watch me clean. Maybe some of you do. I don't know. But Arnold's got a pretty good pile. And it's not all his. What he's did is he's rutted that up. And he likes to lay on it. So I almost don't want to take it away from him. But he's quite content. But like I said, they get out too. If I'm out here, I'll let them out. Brownie has moved... Georgia has moved into the bigger pig pen, and Brownie over there, he's still in timeout. But he seems to be content in there too, because he's got those leaves. I might be able to add a little clip to that. He's got them leaves up. When you're in timeout, but you get on top of the house so you could reach the leaves, because they taste oh so good. Oh so good, Dad, they taste so good. Crazy goat. Sometimes you just need a helping hand, though. Ain't that right, Brian? Sometimes you need a helping hand when you're in timeout. Up there, brother. He'll stretch out and eat those leaves. Sometimes I'll give him some leaves, too. But, but I did order some fencing. Uh, basically, in between the paddocks out there. Like I said, he wasn't jumping out to get out into the yard or anything. He was jumping out to get into with the girls. So I did order a section of smaller fencing. And we are going to try to go higher on that middle one. So I can get him back in with the other boys and Angel. And there's another story. This <laughs> pen that's been a birthing pen. Right now it's a recovery pen. I thought this guy was, and I'm not much to look at, but it sure has had a lot of stuff go on in it. The turkey, I don't know if I can get it in there so you guys can see. I don't think it's going to focus. But anyhow, the other day, I come out to let them out, and I really didn't, there was no filming that because I didn't want to get flagged. But um, Squidward. The big, uh, one of the bigger turkey, other turkeys, they were all just beating the living tar out of him. 
So he went from there out to the barn. We've been treating his head with the antibiotic spray and his one eye is open. Hopefully his other eye is open. But so he's just chilling out in here for now. And say, I'm recovering. For about the first eight, nine hours, he couldn't even walk. But I don't, I think the biggest thing was he couldn't see. All right. Yeah, you guys did it. You beat him up. That was not nice. So guys, I was, uh, Going in to get more feed, one more scoop of food for the chickens in the other coop. And this guy was down on the ground in there, in the coop. Went out the door by the green wagon over there, down the run. So I come around, got him, and his mama in there, she didn't want to come down after him. So I'm going to take him in the house real quick and put him in with the other chicks that hatched yesterday with the, uh, rotor board because they're all his size he's hatched recently too so I'm gonna take him in and take care of him i'll be back in a minute all right guys got some pig food we'll give them a little bit of food because she had given them goat milk and i'm thinking i need a selfie stick i am i got it on the tripod with the expandable legs and that but this makes it kind of difficult to flip things around and that arnold arnold hi say i'm having a little cereal i had goat milk this morning too nom 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 all right we'll do georgia of course she's got her sidekick over there get out of there get out of there I'm giving her cereal. Oh, I spilled a little bit. I said this is our, this was our pig pen. Funny story with that is you get, you're going to have smells anyhow. But one night I said, I told Mallory, I said, what's that smell I'm smelling? I ain't never smelled it out here before. Well, of course, even though she's pot belly, she's still going to, you know, dig at the ground and push the dirt around. And yeah, she stirred up some of that good smelling old pig. And yeah, it's it's got a different tang to it, especially after it's old for a while. She probably won't be in there very long. We have discussed getting pigs again. Because we usually, that's usually what we like to get a couple. Usually sell one, process the other one for ourselves. Anyhow, where are we at? I think we're to the goats for now. And then I'll do the rabbits at the end. Yeah, I'm going to set you guys up, I guess. <laughs> set you up. And this area over here is the one I've been working. Trying to. Because we've got the grass seed growing good out there. I want to... Of course, where the tractor's sitting in that, and you'll see up against the fence line. Got all the old leaves and stuff raked up, but I uh, wanted to put some grass seed down. Yay. One problem with that, though, is keeping the chickens out of it. But where I planted it over there, there is a low spot, but you'll see. You'll see over there, it is a little more green. Of course, that pen needs cleaned out. <laughs> That's where Brownie was at first, but he's got a little better coop and that in there. So that's just a standby thing if we need it. I'll probably move that right out of there. Those, I don't know about putting dogs in them. I mean, I know people do, but they do come in handy for, especially if you got an animal, if somebody doesn't want or something you need and you're bringing it and somebody get, or you get that call and say, hey, I do you, can you take this or take that? And yeah, you got a spot to put it. So you're not throwing it right in with the other animals. What do you want? What do you want? Is it time? Is it time? Uncle Chopper. So dad, you're late. Oh, are you giving me, are you giving me lip? Are you giving me lip? 
You know, you got about them pine branches, eh? Mother-in-law had uh, had some pine branches going out in her yard, so they sawed them up and brought them in there. And they picked at them, and that's supposed to be a natural dewormer. And they picked them pretty much clean. So. Yeah, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Mooney pie. Yes, Zoe, it's time, huh? Well, let's do that. You guys want to talk? We'll set you guys up. Set it up real quick and we'll go. We'll get the food. We'll get you fed. All right. Let's get you fed up. Or fed. You're already fed up. You're mad. Not too bad, Dad. Get off that fence. All right, guys, we're in here. I had filled these up last night, so, oh, these guys are active. We'll bring you over here and show you these. Like I said, this is, if you watch the other videos, you know what this is. It's like an eight by 10. Eight by 10, it's all been fi finished off. It's got 16 separate cages in it, and uh, it's in use right now. Um, on this side here, we got baby ducks that were hatched out two days ago. And they're out wanting to see me now. And then we got the crazy pen over here. We'll show you. Knots. 
Oh, now you're not going to move around. You know what? Let me just take this off of this thing real quick. It'll be a lot easier to... Okay. Now we're here. Say hi, guys. Tell everybody hi. That is a Brinzy. Broder plate. Bruder plate, however you want to say it. There's a turkey. Heritage turkey. Two turkeys in there. The rest are all barnyard mix. Got a lot of darker ones. The Samani. Samani rooster. Good colors. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Hi. Hi, how you doing? We, we got another animal swap tomorrow. And of course the bird ban is still on. You can sell from home, just not at the swaps as of right now. Um, I'm not real concerned about that once I get that. I, most of the first few swaps, the birds, my barnyard mixes I s sold were all feathered out. A lot of people don't want to deal with uh, the very new, new chicks. Wow. Yeah. So, we'll just feather them out. I mean, I mean if somebody wants chicks, uh, get a hold of us. Pretty easy. Um, Facebook. I believe my number's on Facebook too, so. But yeah, let's check out these baby ducks. Hi, ducky, ducky, duckies. Good morning. Try to get you focused in there. Oh, are you eating? There's... Catch y'all. You got lots of water yet? Yeah, they were just little guys. But, um, yeah, start them off in here and then move them on. Because, like I said, if you got ducks or if you're, you know, hatching ducks or whatever, you know how messy ducks are. But, yeah, they're looking good. Let me try to get a little closer. Looking good. It's another Brinzy Broder, Brooder, whatever you want to call it, heat plate. I'm hoping we're past all our cold, cold weather. Yeah. It's supposed to be like 80 degrees tomorrow, almost for the animal swap, so. All right, guys, I think I got to do the rabbits. Um, well, rabbits and check on the baby other baby ducks, the bigger ones. Are you saying hi? Are you saying hi? Am I your mama? I think so. I think you think so. We'll just call me Di We'll just call me Duck Daddy. Duck Daddy. All right. Tell everybody bye. Don't be mean to each other. Mama Kitty, what are you doing in here? Get out of here. That's that tripod, guys. I just took it off and I'm gonna leave it off for now because yeah it's not heavy but it's awkward especially when you're trying to film I gotta pick me up a selfie stick something a little but that's nice if you're just set up and filming that way but you guys are nuts you're going nuts today and I'm seeing a lot of feathers coming out on you too that's good because I'm gonna need that need that heat board for the other ones in the house i mean they got a big heat board but there's more birds coming guys there's more birds the birds are coming all right all right guys these are the other ones you may have seen them uh, of course i got the heat lamp off right now because it's it's warm out but um little one there that's an african goose that is the only bird I've purchased, I got it from the farm store, because we have all male geese, 
and I'm hoping, but I do have goose eggs that somebody had given me in the incubator. Not ready yet, but you see what these guys do. I took the lid off this five gallon water, um, but this is what I mean about mess with ducks. Uh, the water looks terrible, but the water inside is nice and clean. And if you got ducks, you know what I mean? I can dump that out to off to the side, which I probably will. I'm probably gonna move this today too to get them in a different set of grass. But yeah, they will muck it up. Some people call them, call them uh, flying pigs. Here real quick, no. Uh. All right, babies. No sun today. It's overcast, but it's warm. Yeah, tell everybody hi. Hi. No, you. Don't. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi. Crazy turkey. Crazy turkeys. Fanny. Benny, Benny, you are so beautiful. Benny, I believe I just mowed that grass the other day. It's time again. All right, guys, the rabbits are all fed. Everybody's happy, happy, happy out here. And, uh, I'm going to go in and get something to eat. I'm hungry. Have another cup of coffee. And uh, I'll try to get this video out to you today. It is Friday. Uh, I'll try to, I try to get my videos out on the same day I film them. Sometimes that don't work. But we'll try to get this one out to you Friday. Uh, like I said, we got another animal swap tomorrow. Get some filming there. Next week, we'll do a good video about the bees. A little bit nervous. Not so much about bees in general just being new to the bees but I think we got everything we need to give her a shot I'm looking forward to that and uh yeah we should have some more content coming out continuously I will try to be a little bit more you know film try to film more but like I said I gotta get one of the selfie sticks it just makes it easier um but yeah oh another thing that happened when, when i was feeding the right three more chicks got down on the ground and so i just i bundled them up and took them inside to the other chicks that hatch so just so they're safe because if they get out there and run around there you know there's things other animals like the turkeys and that that they might hurt them or kill them Anyhow, yeah, they're safe they're inside all right, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the like button. We'll see y'all later. Bye.